Hello student, this is Manas Supekar from Department of Accounting and Finance. Now, in the today's session, here we are talking about under the cost accounting, very prime and important concept that is process costing. See, this is a very prime and important subject for all organi uh, for organization, those who are manufacturing a goods as well as goods. See, now this is a process of a, uh, this is a manufacturing cost process. Here is a raw material inventory, then working, prog working, in, prog uh, working in process inventory, finished goods inventory and cost of goods sold. Now very first we should be understand here what is the exact difference between process as well as the difference between process cost and process costing. These three terms are quite different. So first of all, here we're talking about the first part is a process. What is meant by the process? So process means nothing. It is the various manufacturing operations or phases or stage for a manufacturing of a goods. Then what is meant by the process cost? Meanwhile, the production of goods, whatever the cost is incurred for a manufacturing of a goods, it is known as a process cost. This cost is very important because of on the basis of this cost, the goods as manufacture. Now the last concept, this is a process, uh, the last concept is a process costing. Now what is meant by the process costing? The term of the costing means nothing to ascertain the value of a goods as well as the services which is manufactured by the industry. It's very simple term about the process costing. Process costing used to find out the cost of the product in the each processes. This costing is very important for the manufacturing organization because of with the help of this costing they can be understand and they can be find out the each each phases. It means that they can be find out the cost as well as to ascertain the cost as per the production wise. This is a very simple structure to understand this concept. In the process costing, the first part of a raw material, you can see here. The first is a raw material and then after that, there's some processes. So this process is depend on the nature of product. So what kind of the product is manufactured by the organization? So for example of here, the process one, process second and process third. When the goods will be manufactured or finished by the organization, then the particular goods in terms of costing, you can say it's a finished goods and the goods will transfer for a selling purpose. Now, what are the features of process costing? So the first important feature of process costing is a process in continued nature. The main motto of process costing is a to find out the value in short, uh, value your yeah, cost of a each processes of a goods as well as a product is manufactured. The second important feature of process costing is a process costing is applicable only for the homogeneous goods. The third important feature is a output of the first process become the input of the second process in the process costing in this cycle. The first process output is a part of the second process input. The same on the second process output is a part of a third process input. And when the goods will be finalized, then the particular good will be transferred for a selling purpose. The third important feature is a out of, uh, output of the final process is a part of the finished stock. Fourth one is a in the process costing, direct and indirect costs are accumulated in every processes. Yes, obviously, in the process costing, the collaboration of a direct cost and indirect cost should be. So, we can say here prime cost and overheads is the collaboration. The standardized process should be there. It's a very main feature of process costing. Ascertain of the cost process wise. So, whatever the process so whatever the goods is manufactured, so accordingly the goods manufacturing processes, the cost will be ascertained by the particular organization. 
so it's depend on the nature of the goods so these are the simple important simple features and they are very important to know about that the very well meaning of a process costing now what are the benefits will get under the process costing what benefit basically will get to the manufacturing organization student process costing is very important for a industries those industries is manufacturing a goods as well as the products the first important object uh, advantages is a periodical assessment of the cost process wise in the industry suppose if manufacturer is taking by the organization as a day wise as a month wise so the particular periodical the particular cost production will be assessed so this is the first benefit the second one is it is a simple and involve less cl clerical work than the job costing you know that the difference between the process costing and job costing so in the process costing according to the each processes to find out the value of a uh, goods manufacturing my dear student in the process costing has very less part of the cl uh, clerical works the next advantages is a it is easy to allocate the expenses to the processes in order to have a accurate cost yes it is the very important terms in the costing has a two important measurement tools for a calculation of the cost one is a method and second one is a technique process costing is a method of costing and obviously with the help of this costing will get the accurate figure of a each and every goods which is manufactured by the manufacturing concern so it is a uh, important advantages it is useful to the tender quotation yes those organization want to get the tender from the various uh, other organization so once they want to fix or finalize the value of the goods so they have a need of a process costing because of with the help of the process costing they will be finalize the tender value and obviously with the help of a process costing they can easily get the tenders the next advantages of the process costing is a since the cost data is available for each processes operation and department goods managerial control is possible yes with the help of the process costing the smooth operation for a manufacturing of a goods will be possible so every manufacturing organization follow these things now my dear student here we talking about the next important part when we calculate through a accounting point of view the process costing so that time we should be consider the some important terms so which kind of the terms is important so out of this term the first term is a normal loss when we want to find out the exact and accurate value of the each processes so we have a need of a sound knowledge of a normal loss now what is meant by the normal loss where we should be recorded the normal loss when you see the pro forma of the process costing so in the in this pro forma in the credit side of the every process account uh, the part of a normal loss now my dear student what is meant by the normal loss meanwhile the manufacturing process the sum part of the raw material will not be used yeah the part of a raw material has uh, spoiled normal loss means nothing it is a compulsory reduction of a uh, raw material if i take the example of uh, production of a wheat so from the field we cannot be get the each and every wheat in the bags so some of the part definitely will be loose so what are the example of a normal loss so here you can to understand normal loss what are the examples of normal loss so first upon the evaporation yes it's a uh, major part of the normal loss second one is a breakage next one is a scrap due to the need for the high quality next one is a rejection on inspection next one is a defective unit next one is a loss inherent in the large scale manufacturing next one is a chemical changes next one is a residual material so these are the examples of a normal loss my dear student normal loss is not a uh, controllable activity it is uncontrollable things those organization who want to manufacture goods meanwhile the manufacturing time the some part of the raw material definitely will be loose will not be accepted you will not be consider 
in the manufacturing process. So this term is known as a normal loss. How we find out the normal loss is very simple formula for calculating normal loss. Normal loss is equal to normal process loss plus abnormal process loss. So this is the compulsory reduction in the raw material unit. This is known as a normal loss. Now we are talking about the next one part. It is a abnormal process loss. It is different. It's quite different. Now, what is the abnormal process loss? Now, it is a controllable activity. It is a controllable activity. So, normal. There are the some examples of normal loss: abnormal working condition, bad working condition, carelessness, rough handling, lack of proper knowledge, low quality raw material, machine breakdown, and the accident of the employees and all these things. student normal loss is a spontaneous loss it is not be uh, compulsory part it is depend on the actual meanwhile uh, actual uh, production process but the quite uh, the different between normal loss and abnormal loss is a normal loss cannot be controlled by the manufacturing organization but abnormal loss definitely controlled by the manufacturing organization so in this unit here we talking about meaning advantages features and the important terms of the process costing i hope you understand thank you very much